Birdman hands rubbing together. I ain't got the money for it, but I'm sure gonna look at it like I got the money for it. You know what I'm saying? What's three black guys in the car? We ended up somewhere in southern Georgia on a road called Plantation Road. <sighs> My body is ready. Here we go. Yeah. Tech King Mike. Now, I know some of y'all kind of tired of the folding phone trend. Y'all thought the Galaxy Fold was going to fail. And you thought the Xiaomi, me, whatever, Alpha, whatever, Omega, you know, whatever phone it was. Y'all thought that phone was going to fail too. And Huawei even had the Mate X that, I mean, that phone is dead on arrival regardless because of all the stuff Huawei got going on. And I don't even like calling phones dead on arrival, but it is what it is. But Motorola came out with a phone that a lot of people thought was a concept. A lot of people thought they weren't really going to actually do. And then they did it. And I really want one. And I'm going to tell you why. So mainly my thing is this. 10 years ago, now this ain't got nothing to do with the new Razer, but I got to give you my history with the Razer in order for you to understand why I want a Razer. You feel me? So 10 years ago, I had uh, I was on a road trip. Now, was me and two of my homeboys, and we was riding in the car. And we was on our way to Southern Georgia to watch my homeboy's brother play in the football game. You know, it's his first time starting in the football game. And, uh, you know, we was like, oh, yeah, we got to get down there and watch this game, right? So he had Verizon. Me and my other homeboy had AT&T. Now, I had uh, some Samsung slide-up phone, you know, one of the ones that, like, slide up, you know, do like that or whatever. I had one of them phones, and my homeboy had the same thing. But you know what I'm saying, mine was blue because blue was the way to go. He had the red, you know what I'm saying? I don't mess with that. But my homeboy had his had his Motorola Razor from Verizon. Now, if you know anything about phones, a lot of people talk today about iOS and Android, but everybody knows that back then, carriers were even putting their own OS on flip phones. So he had the Verizon branded Motorola Razor. Don't y'all know that we ended up getting lost? And not only did we end up getting lost, my phone died and had no battery at all because I didn't even have a car charger. My homeboy's phone was still good to go, but had no service. So the only phone in the car that had service that was able to help navigate us back home was the Motorola Razor. Now, when I tell y'all that phone saved our life, listen, man, some of y'all ain't gonna like this, but it's what it is. What's three black guys in the car? We ended up somewhere in Southern Georgia on a road called Plantation Road or Plantation Lane. Then we even came across a Masters Avenue. Nah, nah, that ain't it, Chief. That ain't it. I'll tell you right now, that that wasn't it. So, flash forward ten years, ten years later, and we're all looking at all these Foley phones that are coming out. You know, everybody got their different version that's out right now. And I gotta be completely honest with you. I saw the Motorola Razor, and I didn't think specs. Specs wasn't the first thing that went through my mind. The first thing that went through my mind when I saw that phone was that. Mother, that thing is gorgeous. The fact that the screen folds flat with no crease, no crease, Sam, Samsung, why? Dog, can y'all imagine if the fold would, would, would not have a crease like that? Like, can you imagine if the fold did not have a crease like that phone? It makes no sense how smooth that display looks on that Motorola Razor. Plus, I don't care what none of y'all say. Let me, let, me, let me put this thing on silent because it's going to keep going off on y'all while I'm trying to record this video. I don't care what none of y'all say. The, the satisfaction of like, you said what now? Oh, it's, excuse me? Oh, no. The satisfaction of being able to just flip the phone closed. <sighs> My body is ready. My body is ready. The price point, you know, we can move on from the price point, but at the end of the day, it's not about the price. It's a nostalgia factor device. It's a device that I think people who grew up with the Razor, like myself, like you possibly watching, are gonna wanna go buy. And I do think that it's gonna be worth every penny, and I think it's gonna be worth the money. But that's just my thoughts. I am excited to see the Razor next year. I hate that you can only get it on Verizon, but in my mind, I think that's kind of full circle how 10 years ago, a Verizon Razor got me out of a situation that could have went south real quick. And 10 years later, I'm looking at the way tech has advanced and I'm checking out this Razor and I'm just like, Birdman hands rubbing together. 
I ain't got the money for it, but I'm sure gonna look at it like I got the money for it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so if you made it this far into the video, make sure you hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Did you have an old school razor back in the day? Did you used to hang up the phone on people? Did you used to like, you know, just flip it closed when you didn't want to hear that mess no more? Or was you one of them cool people like me and my like me and my crew? You know what I'm saying? When you just walk up on somebody and just flip the phone out and just, you know, just, just, just smack them with the phone a couple times, just kind of, you know, mess with them or whatever. But uh, let me know down below what you think about the new Motorola razor. And people, I'm asking you this one thing. I'm asking you one favor. When you talk about the razor, take the specs out of it. Take specs out of it. Don't think about specs. Don't don't think about specs. Just think about where we're at 10 years later with tech that we can do stuff like a folding phone that's all display on the inside. I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. It's your boy Tech King Mike. Make sure you drop all that good stuff down below. And uh God, I just really buff, I just really killed the ending of this. But anyway, I'm out. Peace. Here we go. Yeah. Tech King Mike. Ten of so lit. All right. It's Saturday. Yep, it's time to brawl. One of these cats got.